close to the sea, along the edge of backwaters, on the soft muddy shores, near saline and crusted mudflats, is nature's ingenious exuberance, the mangroves. These are unique plants adapted to thrive in salt water. Roots grow up out of the oxygen-starved mud to breathe. Seeds grow into seedlings while still attached to the tree and when mature, spear themselves into the soft mud. Roots of trees are a network of tall stilts in the ebb and flow of tides and feeding on the silt and evolving is a parade of species snails, shrimp, mollusks, oysters, crabs, fish, birds and marine animals. Mangroves protect the coast from tropical cyclones, help to prevent soil erosion, enrich the coastal waters and contribute to the global carbon cycle. A source of firewood, timber, tannins and medicines. They also provide food and shelter to the local population. Today, the picture is grim. The coast got inhabited and the mangroves were the first to go. We forgot that the mangroves have enormous ecological and economic value. Mangrove cover continues to shrink rapidly. Before the mangrove forests are forgotten and lost forever, drastic steps are needed. Massive shoreline erosion was posting a threat to ONGC Wells 2 at Gandhar Field in Gujarat. Oil and Natural Gas Corporation, the energy major of India, has been operating in the Gulf of Kambay since 1956. The company has been witness to altered flow regimes of Dada River and the receding tides in the coastal belt. The mangrove cover was bulldozed with the construction of extensive road network. ONGC joined hands with the Bombay Natural History Society. Project Cover Green was launched to save the mangroves. A large number of ONGC's operations are on the offshore and coastal areas. And during the last couple of years, we have uh, seen that uh, a lot of land erosion is taking place in these coastal areas, uh, particularly very close to our operational areas. The inhabitants, the farmers are getting affected. ONGC has taken up this ambitious cover green project of plantation of mangroves to save the erosion in these coastal areas. Particularly in Gandhar, where ONGC has large operations, we have planted more than 5 lakhs mangrove. This will help and will go a long way to really arrest the erosion in this area. We have also taken up a, a project to really sensitize the younger generation, the fishermen, the students, the children in that area to take up projects, take up initiatives to arrest erosion by planting mangrove and looking after the mangroves actually. We have taken this project and uh, in association with uh, Bombay Natural History Society. Uh, it's a small step, but I think as we go along, we'll take more projects in our pursuit to be a corporate uh, social citizen and uh, do our bit in the environment protection in the country. In 2007, ONGC undertook a massive mangrove afforestation program in Gujarat. Three large nurseries were developed in Gandhar with over 300,000 saplings. The mangrove saplings and seeds were planted at test sites, giving promising results. Soon, 250,000 seeds and 100,000 saplings more were planted at various locations in Gandhar. The next step was to educate the locals about its importance. Two mobile units crisscrossed the coasts of Maharashtra and Gujarat organizing mangrove education programs for students and fishermen. Slideshows, exhibitions, films, games, painting competition, quiz and nature trails 
stirred up young minds. The team of Cover Green reached out to over 1,000 teachers, 10,000 students and an equal number of local community members in the very first year. The focus was on personal responsibility to environment, to nurture the mangrove as a protection and as a resource. This was just the beginning. The community-based mangrove conservation program has transformed the ecology of villages like Denva, Walipur and Gandhar. The mangroves are now few meters tall. The resilience of mangroves is on display. Rhizophora and Avicennia seedlings are lancing into the mud and mangroves are reasserting. Dada River estuary is lined with thriving mangroves. Fishes slither. The birds are back. Egrets and herons. Bioethics is an integral part of ONGC's corporate credo. Cover green continues to energize the environment. ONGC believes that we need the air the mangrove replenishes and the fish it spawns. We need the sound of birds upon its shores and the expanse of the water. ONGC believes the mangroves have a right to the earth too.